Hello all, welcome to part 270 of Core Java training series. In this session, I'm going to explain about Java identifiers. What exactly in Java are known as identifiers that I'm going to cover in this session. So let's get started. As you can see here, anything that we can name in Java is an identifier. Okay, in Java programming, if you can name anything, that is called as an identifier. Some examples of the identifiers are like we can name a class, class, some class name. That class name is nothing but an identifier. It can be user defined class or it can be a predefined class from Java guys. Okay. Both are called as identifiers. Okay. Not just the user defined class, but also the predefined class is also known as identifier guys. Coming to the variable names. Okay. All the variable names in Java. Okay. The names that you have given to the variables are identifiers. The names that you have given to the methods which contain the programming logic are also identifiers. The names that you give it to the labels, okay? We generally use labels for some certain situations. Okay, I'll give an example for this at the end, okay? All these are the identifiers, guys. Now let me practically demonstrate these identifiers for you by creating a sample logic, okay, or code by writing a sample code. Here, I'll be writing something known as, uh, I'll create a class known as sample class, guys. Okay, inside the sample class, I'll create a method known as public static void main string of args. Okay, here I'll say int a is equal to nine system dot out dot print ln. I'll print a. So now how many identifiers are there in this program? You need to identify. Okay, how many identifiers? As I told you, identifiers are nothing but the names given to okay names uh, names uh, that are given in java programming for identifying something okay anything that can be named in java is an identifier okay like class name variable name method name label name here in this case in this program how many identifiers are there you have to understand so here anything that you can name for example package package name this is one identifier right so I can add one more thing here, apart from class name, variable name, method name, label name, in this code, there's a package name also, this identifier number one. Okay, and coming to this sample, which is a class name. Okay, the sample is a, the name of the class is sample, which is identifier name number two, and public static void or reserved keywords, guys. Here, public class are also reserved keywords. Here, package is also a reserved keyword. Here, test is a, identifier because it is having some name to identify to identify the package we have given a name okay number one to identify a class we have given a name identifier okay but all this uh, maroon color kind of things that are coming and appearing in uh, this uh, eclipse id are nothing but the reserved keywords these are not identifiers they are reserved keywords okay they are reserved by java but coming to main this is the name of the method main is the name of the method guys that is the third identifier okay so one is this test package, two is the sample class, name of the class. This is a user defined class guys. And here main, third one is the name of the method that is a main method, okay? Then here string is a predefined class, but still it is an identifier. I told you, right? The class name can be user defined or predefined. Here string is a predefined class and it is also a name, okay? Even though it is a predefined, it is a name given to something. Okay, G name given to the class. So string is also a identifier in this case. Here, arcs. Arcs is an identifier, as you can see. We have named the object difference here. Okay, for string array, that is arcs is also an identifier. Five identifier so far. Here, a, the name of the variable. Okay, the name of the variable a, sixth identifier. So total, how many identifiers are there in this program? Six identifiers. Name of the package name of the class, name of the method, uh, predefined class name, args, okay, to, uh, which is name of the object reference. Uh, you can say object reference is also an identifier for uh, referring to an object stored in the memory. And here A, which is a variable name is also an identifier. Total six identifiers are there. Now with this example, you would have already got a kind of clarity that what exactly are identifiers in Java. Anything that can be named in Java is an identifier. 
including the package name, class name, package name, variable name, method name, label name. I'll give an example, guys. Okay, for label name, I'll give an example. For example, you are writing a logic like this. Forget, forget about this. Okay, uh, you now understood what exactly are identifiers. The names given to the anything in Java are known as identifiers, starting from package name to the variable names. Everything is an identifier. Uh, along with that, we also have a label name. Okay, what is that label? For example, I am writing two for loops. Int i is equal to zero, i less than i less than three, i plus plus. Okay, i plus plus. Inside this for loop, I'll create one more for loop, guys. For int j is equal to zero, j less than two, j plus plus. Okay. Now, here I'll write a logic like if j is equal to zero, then simply say break. What will happen when I say break like this? The inner for loop will break. Okay. The in this break statement will take you out of the inner for loop. But what if you want to break the break out from the external for loop when j is equal to zero? What do you have to do? What do you have to do, guys? In that case, you have to provide a label here. Say label. Just label name you give here, guys. Okay. For example, uh, a some colon and here break a. I'll say break a. Okay. Here, what is this name of the label, guys? Okay. The label format is something like this, guys. Okay. So it will break the for external for loop. Now it will break the external for loop. So here I'll say system dot out dot print ln i. I is equal to zero will be printed. First zero will be printed, guys. Uh, then it will go into the uh, zero less than three is true. That will go into the for loop and zero. after printing zero here, j is equal to zero, j less than two. That is zero less than two is true. J is equal to zero is true again. Break a external for loop should be breaked. Only Zero value should be printed. I value that is zero should be printed, and rem uh, and we should exit from the for loop. Let's see whether that is happening or not. Right click run as Java application. Only zero should be printed in the output, guys. Okay, nothing much. Only zero got printed. After zero got printed, this condition became true, and we have break the not the inner for loop but external for loop with the help of the label. This is called as a label, guys. Whatever I highlighted here is a name of the label. Here we are naming the label. So these labels are also identifiers in Java. Okay, so. Now you understood, right? Package name, class name, variable name, method name, label name, and in class name, user defined uh, class names, predefined class names like string class, etc. Everything is a label, is an identifier, guys. Everything is an identifier, okay? But there are some rules for identifiers in Java, guys, okay? In order to name these identifiers, okay? In order to name these class names or variables names or package names or method names or label names, okay? Whatever it is, there are some rules exist, okay? That is, these identifiers. Should only contain the characters like this. Okay, only these are allowed. Lowercase to lowercase a to lowercase z. Capital uh, case a to capital case z. Okay, when you are naming, for example, here if you are naming this uh, uh, sample, you see either capital letter from a to z are there or lower letters from lower case a to z are there. That's fine. That's okay, guys. No problem. Okay, these two are allowed. And even these identifier names can have numbers. 0 to 9, you can include. Underscore can be there, part of this name, identifier name. Dollar can be there as part of this identifier names. Okay, but the problem here is, though they contain, these identifier names should not start with numbers. 1, 2, 3, name is equal to Arun, is not allowed. Arun 1, 2, 3 is equal to, sorry, uh, uh, name 1, 2, 3 is equal to Arun is allowed. Okay, but Identifier names should not start with numbers, guys. They can start with underscore, they can start with dollar, they can start with uh, lowercase alphabets, they can start with uh, uppercase alphabets, but identifier names should not start with the numbers. That is another thing. And identifier names are case sensitive. What does it mean? I'll give a small example, guys. You will understand. Very simple example this is. Okay. So if I give int a is equal to 10 and int a is equal to 20. Now, if I say system dot out dot print ln a system dot out dot print ln capital A, will it print 10 or 20 here? You see, they are case sensitive. That means this variable is different from this variable. When you are printing lowercase a here, 10 will be printed. If you print uppercase a, 20 will be printed. 20 will be printed, guys. Okay, run this code. You see, 10 and 20 will be printed. So they are case sensitive. 
fine and many other rules exist guys this much is enough okay i don't want to go behind this uh, okay there is a very big depth uh, okay uh, number of rules other three to four rules exist for java identifiers but uh, these rules are the main things because we generally use while naming the classes and variable names methods and label okay and a class name has its own uh, naming convention variable name has its own naming convention naming convention of the class name is uh, upper camel case the first letter of uh, every word in this identifier name should be uh, in upper case okay variable names are lower camel case the first word uh, if there are multiple words in this variable name the first word first letter should be in lower case and second word onwards the first letter should be in upper upper, uh, upper case method name also lower camel case similar to variable name okay and uh, label name uh, it can be same thing like this uh, lower camel case and coming to the package name completely lower case guys no matter how many words are there completely lower case okay so like the naming conventions are there that is a different topic but here i wanted to explain about java identifiers and i explained okay so that's all for this session guys thank you bye